Good day, my fellow South Africans. Today we are here with a mathematics class of grade 9 at Nordopal High School. It is the Monday after the Derby weekend and we had a delightful weekend and we were very pleased to have beautiful rugby, soccer, netball, volleyball and all of the sports played over the course of the weekend. Today we're back with a mathematics class and we are going to... So there was quite a few concepts and um, we're back now. Um, um, some important concepts that I want you to remember and recall. We started the conversation last time in class. We were on the board and we had a conversation about different types of lines, all right? And line segments and stuff like that. But we concluded and we did an exercise where we draw each one through a triangle and you cut out those triangles, um, the um, corners the of those triangles. And we came to a conclusion. You can remind me, what is that conclusion that we came to? It was a half a circle, right? All right. So what, so is, what is a circle? Is how many degrees? You can tell me how big is a circle? 306 degrees. So if we off that, 180. So we so know that the interior angles of a triangle adds up to 180. What else adds up to 180 degrees? A straight line. All right. So, and so then we also talked about different types of angles, like an acute angle, um, an um, obtuse uh, angle, what, and a right angle. A what kind of angle? A reflex and stuff like that, a revolution. But to come back to today's exercise here, they ask us calculate the sizes of the angles marked A to D. Give reasons for your answers. If we look at this angle right here, here you can see that angle A is right there. And they want us to calculate that angle right there. So how so can how we calculate A? We see that angle A is intersected there. So we can say that. A is equals to, what is A? A equals to? 43 degrees. But if we look at that closely, we can see what is the reason. We say the reason here is going to be, it's vertically opposite angles. And vertically opposite angles are always going to be the same. So once you have calculated, and this is a good practice that you should learn and work with up until grade 12. Once you have calculated the angle, go write it into your sketch as well. Like that. So you're right there, 43. Now we're going to um, calculate angle B. But before we calculate angle B, what do we see here? Do you see that? Arrows. What does that arrows indicate? They are. You see it now? The arrows indicate that the lines are parallel. parallel. So what is parallel lines? Parallel lines, we talked about the door. They are equidistant from each other. other. All right? All right. So basically, they have the same gradient, all, yeah, of, all, those all of those stuff. stuff. So if I say, for example, this one, the line AB, and we write it like that. We write line AB, or line segment AB, is parallel to a line segment CD. Now, if you read through your notes that you were supposed to write down, you will see that we have different types of properties. And we can summarize these properties into the following. following. So this is just a recap of what you already have written down for me. I'm just going to try and write in a different color. Quickly. Quickly. So we use with parallel lines. We always look for an F, all right? Or, but when we're talking about the F, so that line there, needs to pa be parallel to that line. And if these lines are parallel, then it means that this angle right here is equals to that angle right there. And this we call corresponding angles. Ang corresponding angles, but they can all... The copy is, is down, so I can make a copy, but I won't be able to make the line too clear. So I'll keep it. Thank you. Thank you. So we have your corresponding angles, all right? But the angles can only be corresponding when? When the lines are parallel. And then that means the angles right here are going to be the same. Then the, the other, other letter, letter, so the first letter is going to be a F. What kind of letter is that? What letter do you see there? A U, all right? But once again, what is important here? We need to have parallel 
Now, be careful for this one. If I say that is angle, angle X y. and that is angle, are they the same? No, they are not the same. All right. But the property of this is that X plus Y, if these lines are parallel, they will always add up to 180 degrees. Let me just zoom into there. Now, the first one, the F, is called corresponding. This second property that we are referring to is called co-interior angles. And what is the property of co-interior angles? It means this angle right here, right, the X angle right there, plus the Y angle right there, will always add up to 180. When will they add when up will to 180? When the lines are parallel. Okay, so we can say this is called co-interior angles. That L is not the L, it's just, just the, the abbreviation, abbreviation for angles. So you don't have to angles write those angles in full. We use that as a, um, a mathematic symbol, abbreviate of angles. Then there's also this letter. I'm just going to go a little bit off to the side. I'm going to put the letter here. Letter, this what letter do you see there? N. Now, if we put that together, what word does that make? Fun. Fun. Because, <laughs> got jokes today, eh? Now, which But all of these, what is important? We need to have what kind of lines? Parallel lines. So, we are now that going to say that angle right here is alternating that angle right there. Alright? So, they are called alternating angles. And what is the property of alternating angles? They are also like corresponding angles. The same. But they can only be the same when? When the lines when are the line parallel. Now, we're going to use all of this and try to, to identify, identify this within the work. Right? So, I know it's a little bit new to you, but we're going to have, we have, if we can identify a if, we can, it's going to say it is corresponding angles. If we can identify a U, we're going to say it's co-interior. And if we can identify a N, it's alternating angles. But you need to remember geometry has to do with shapes. But a shape not is not always, always going, going to be, be in the form that you think it is. So the F, the U, and the N can be switched around, around can be upside can be down, down and stuff like that. So now we're going to use that information that we have of corresponding angles, co-interior angles, and alternating angles, and try to see if we can solve the following questions. They ask us once again to calculate. What can you see here? If we look at the relationship, and I'm quickly going to use a highlight because I want you to see something here. Although it's... What letter do you see? F. Now, lines A, B is parallel is pa to line C, D. So, therefore, we can conclude that this angle right is here equal is equal to that angle right there. So, therefore, we can now say angle B is equals to 43 degrees. Now, you see, I just came up with the answer, but the important part here is actually now the reasoning. Because if you're going to write your reason wrong, it's specifically this type of stuff. You're not going to get You're going to lose all of them. So, your so reasoning, reasoning is important. important. And how do we write this down? So, you get the mark for your answer, and then you're going to get the mark for your reasoning. So, we, my reason here is going to be, this is called, called the F corresponding angles, right? But when I use an F, a U, or an N, and I've identified that, it is utmost, of utmost importance that we write down the, the lines line. that are parallel. So I'm halfway there, and if I stop here, and I only, and say, I only corresponding say corresponding angles, I'm not going to get my second mark. So for me, in order to get so my a, second mark, I need to A, B is parallel to C, D. And there's my full, re full reason for that. I'm going to zoom out there. I want you to take that down. I'm going to move on and just put that there. I want you to think about number 1.2. 1. 1. 1. 1. That answers down. Right. 2. No letter there. I see something. Do you see something? I see a letter I there. see. In the fun, but any parallel lines? No. But when we see, so we're going to use 
fun or we're going to look for fun when we see parallel lines. But what yes, you, what you are you, saying now, there's no letter here. Okay? But we have another property. What is the property? Angles on a straight line. And what, and is, what the is the angle on a straight, straight line? 180. So let's go use that property. So we're going to say that means 12 degrees plus C, C plus 58 is supposed to be equals to 180. One. That is my statement. But I can't just go and I make a statement, say, the sky is green. All right? My statement needs to be based on something. So I say this statement I make upon the known fact that angles straight add up to 180 degrees. That is my property. But why do I want to calculate here? C. So remember first time we did algebra? And if we want to calculate it's a variable or a constant, all we had to do is take, take the variables, variables to the one side and take the numbers to the other side. So I'm going to leave C here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to say C equals to C equals 180. To if I take the 12 over, what happens? Minus 12 degrees and minus 58 degrees. You can do that on your calculator. If you sharp like Bradley was Saturday on the field, no? you're going to know this answer is 110. So C is equal to degrees. And then you do it like that. Super fast, even faster. Eh? Is everyone still following? Now we're going to look at this one here. I'm, I'm going to draw it. If you haven't drawn. Okay, we can actually see a lot of things. Not going no? to be so easy but or so straightforward to determine here. Uh, if. Outside of mathematics, for those of you who get, get that, write down your name in the comment section below. <laughs> All right. Um, what I'm going to see, or what I'm going to use here, is I'm going to identify. I can see here that there's an if. All right, so I'm just going to put down here, I'm first going to say that angle, angle means, that means that is equals to this angle right here. So that yeah. means this so angle means right that here is also going to be 112. But now, that wasn't what they asked me to calculate. They asked me to calculate this one right here. How can I get to that now? I'm going to use a different color. And now, we first use the if, now we use the u. Remember people outside of mathematics, don't use those two together. So, what we can say now is going to be the 12 plus the D is supposed to be equals to 180. Why? Because they are the property of co-interior angles. But how do we get to this angle S being equal to 112? We first need to go write that down in reasons. So, we have some, some just going just to write it down formally, formally for you. Side, right? For see, you to see. Um, you say let angle... Me write it. Um, angle A P is R. Do you know what which angle that is? P, this P, this is, this R. No? That angle is equals to P is R. R. What did we say? Is equals to 112. So I made a statement now. In geometry, when you make a statement, you also always need to have a accompanying reason. What is my reason going to be? Because I'm going to say this uh, is what is the if? Corresponding corresponding angles no? and once I say corresponding co-interior or alternating angles, what is most important? I need to state which lines are parallel. And in this case, it is the line PQ that is parallel to, to sorry, it's not PQ, it's a uh, PS that to, is parallel QR. No? There's my reason the there for the first one. Do you going see that? further, I'm going to say okay, but therefore angle D plus angle PSR is equals to. 180. Now, why am I saying that? Because those are 
in cotereia angles. And what do I know when I have cotereia angles? I need to state which lines parallel. Now in this case it's going to be PQ parallel to SR. I don't value know what the value of D, but do I know the value of PSR? Yes. What is the D value of PSR? 112 is equals to 100. Okay. But I now, I'm going to take the 112 to the other side. So therefore, D is equals to 112. And that equates to 78 degrees. Great work. You see, this work is actually not so difficult. Let's look at Let's these go. followings now. Let's now they ask us the following. I just want to have a conversation quickly with some. What we can say here, they ask us calculate the size of the largest angle. Show all your steps with the reasons. But, but in order for us to know what is the largest angle, we first need to go calculate x because x is unknown. So what we're going to say here is going to say x minus 6 degrees plus x minus 9 degrees plus x plus 10 degrees. All right? All of these angles, because we say we're going from right around, right around like that, up until that point again, and we made a full rotation. So that is equals to 360 degrees. So there's two ways of writing this. We can say angles around a point, or call we can this call this a revolution. In, if you're Afrikaans, you can use the word, the um, abbreviation, word. oh my word. All right? Because in Afrikaans, a revolution is a omwenteling. So you can say OMV, OMW. But let's get back. When we do something, something like, like this, this, it's the same as algebra. We add up all of the exponents, sorry, all of the like terms. So that gives me 3x, x, and then negative 6 and negative 9, that equates to negative 15 plus 15, 15 degrees. degrees is equals to, three, to 360. That is going to cancel out with each other because it's a positive and a negative. So then we have 3 x equals to 360. Have I solved for x? x? Not yet. So I want to solve for x. How do I solve for x again? Divide by 3 on both sides. So that's going to be x and 360 divided by 3. Well done. Oh, Mr. Moses there at the back says 360 divided by 3 is 120. So the answer there is 120. But remember, we haven't answered the question. Let's go back to the question. The answer is says the largest angle will be x plus 15. 15. So, one, so 120 plus 15. One. So the largest angle here is equals to 135. I thank you, learners. Goodbye, my fellow South Africans. For now, my please be.